Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kobo from Elite Signals. Today, I want to show you guys a swing trading strategy that you guys can use with Elite Algo and the Elite Oscillator. It's uh, fairly simple, guys. Anybody can do it. For those of you who don't know what swing trading means, it basically means taking a trade that might last one, two, maybe three, even four days long. So, if, if you don't, if you're a type of person that doesn't want to be on your chart all day, these this kind this type of trading is actually more beneficial to you. So, you can kind of check it couple times a day to see how your trade's going but you don't have to be analyzing your your screen every single second of the day right so let's show you guys the strategy it's very very simple obviously you guys need to have the elite algo on and the elite oscillator on at the bottom so this is this is how i like to swing trade with the, the bot uh fairly simple you basically just want to wait for a buy signal or sell signal to emerge um right now we are looking at the USD Canadian dollar on the four hour chart for swing trading guys. I'd recommend anything one hour chart and higher. And personally, I like to trade on the four hours for swing trading. It's I find to be a lot more accurate. So yeah, so you want to you want to wait for a buy signal to come. Once that buy signal comes, you want to take the trade on the next candle. Okay. Um, and then you basically just want to ride up the candle until it hits a uh, support or resistance line. So for example, right here, these red lines that we have are uh, support and resistance. They're automatically plotted on our charts from the bot to turn those on in the, in the settings. Simply go to the settings up here on the settings icon, then click show support and resistance, right? This is gonna be the, the support resistance. You click that on, it will pop up uh, lines on your chart that look like this. And yeah, so I'm gonna go up and see that, okay, it hit this um, this line. This is probably a time I should take profit because chances are it could reverse at this given time. So this trade here, I would have taken a trade right there and I would have taken profit up here. And what I would have done is I would have taken actually a partial profit and then move my stop loss to break even. So just in case it comes back down, hits this support line and goes back up. I'm still able to stay in the trade and potentially make more profit. And that's exactly what happened right here. So as you can see, the buy signal came, went up, hit the resistance line, came back down, hit the support, went back up, and then hit the other, um, as you can see, this red line here, the other resistance, almost hit it, and then started going back down again. And you can also use the oscillator at the bottom to kind of see the momentum of the trade. So for example, as you can see here with the buy signal, um, it was dark green candles, which means the momentum was strong. The second it turned into a light green candle, that means that the momentum started becoming weak again, and there's a chance of reversal. Then you can see before it shot back up to the second resistance, the candles turned green again. Okay, very, very simple. We'll do it here with the sell. So sell signal comes. Uh, we wait. We take this trade here at the at the start of the second candle, which is right here at the top. Now we know that the support line is very very close, so we have to watch out for that, guys. We if if the support line is very very close to our signal, there's a very very good possibility that the, it touches this line and goes back the other way and it goes against you. So you have to be paying attention during this time. But we got kind of lucky here, and the resist the support was broken and went down. And hit all the way to basically the third resistance before going back up again, before it gave you a light candle. And that's basically how you swing trade, guys. You want to move as soon as you hit a uh, support resistance, you want to move your stop loss to break even, take partial profits, and then keep moving your stop loss up and keep taking partial profits as more support and resistance gets touched. Okay, that's basically how you trade swing trade with this Elite Algo. And you can use the oscillator at the bottom here to kind of gauge strong momentum versus weak momentum to kind of get the perfect uh, exits and perfect entries. Um, and if you guys don't know, at the bottom here, uh, these bullish, these bull signals at, on the oscillator, these are what you call hidden divergences. It's basically, the bot telling you that the price doesn't add up right now, so it expects a correction. And a bullish divergence basically means that the price is going to expect it to go back up, which it did. So right here, for example, this would have been a perfect entry at the uh, buy signal right here. 
and you would have rode it all the way up until you got the light uh, green candle over here, and then that would have been your exit. So yeah, it's simple as hell. This is how you trade it. Um, yeah, I mean, just take these signals on a, lo a larger time frame, and then just watch out for the support and resistance as to kind of gauge when you should get out and when you should, uh, or, or not, or if you should avoid the trade completely, right? So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys want access to the algo, which if, if and if you don't have it already, uh, there'll be a link to our website where you can purchase the algorithm. So yeah, have yourself a good day, guys. Take it easy.